Toward the end of the Cold War, Russia's primary jet bomber was a Sukhoi Su-24 Fencer. It was great at its job, but had poor odds at facing enemy aircraft. So, Russia began developing an enlarged Su-27 to replace the Su-24. In 1990, the Su-34 fullback took its maiden flight. As great as it performed, there was something awfully strange about the new jet, its platypus-like canopy and nose. In this video, we'll discuss exactly why the Su-34 has such a distinct canopy, and how the shape of its canopy is a key factor to why it's among the best fighter-bomber aircraft in the world. The Sukhoi Su-34, native reporting name Fullback, is in many ways different from its predecessor, the Su-27 Flanker B. Some notable distinctions between the two include the fullback's enlarged airframe, canard wings, thrust vectoring, enlarged central tail boom, two-wheel tandem landing gear, but most noticeably, the unusually large canopy. The Su-34's primary role is to fly long bombing missions without escorts or any friendly aircraft in close range. The jet has an impressive range of 4,000 kilometers, equivalent to flying from St. Petersburg to London and all the way back. Of course, this range can be greatly extended with aerial refueling. Missions in a Su-34 can last up to 10 hours, and for this reason, engineers had to keep Su-34 pilots' comfort in mind. Flying in a tight cockpit can often make pilots feel claustrophobic, and sometimes this can prevent pilots from completing their mission perfectly. Losing focus in a jet for even seconds in some scenarios can result in deadly outcomes. Su-34 engineers specifically designed the jet with a large cockpit for this reason. From the outside of the jet, the canopy may look strange, but it's what's on the inside that counts. To begin with, crew sit in a side-by-side -side configuration, similar to the seating arrangement of an airliner's flight deck. Behind the two K36DM ejection seats of the Su-34 is where things begin to get fancy. There's room for crew to rest, or even sleep, an area to use a bathroom, and even a small galley along the rear wall. Additionally, crew of the Su-34 are able to do something that's never been possible in history, stand upright in a fighter jet. Crew enter and exit the Su-34 through a latch in the underside of the canopy. Once the latch is closed, there's enough room for a person to stand upright with their feet on the latch door. The Su-34's entire cockpit, which seems more like a cabin, is also pressurized, allowing pilots to remove their masks even at high altitudes. The Su-34's cockpit isn't only comfortable, but safe too. The entire cockpit is enclosed in a 13mm armored bathtub of titanium, similar to that of the A-10. The armored capsule is strong enough to withstand a direct hit from a 23mm aircraft cannon, ensuring the safety of the crew on board. In conclusion, the platypus-like canopy and nose of the Su-34 fullback is specifically designed for the comfort and safety of its crew. It gives the crew the comfort they need to make the most out of a mission and a great aircraft.